Hey guys, what if you had a crochet tutorial, its written pattern and its diagram all in one place? I know I wanted this as a beginner and I haven't seen it anywhere. This is going to be the format of my videos from now on so you can better understand and connect these three things. I also prepared an abbreviations list for you guys as well as a stitch guide. You might be here because you bought my cardigan pattern on Etsy. Thank you so much for doing that, by the way. In this case, you'll start by working the indicated number of ribbing rows from the written pattern. Or you might simply be here because you like the stitch. In this case, you'll start with chains instead of ribbing rows. Let's begin. For the sake of this exercise, I have made 19 ribbing rows here and this is where we're going to be placing our stitches this little v this little v this little v we're gonna work on either side of them so here and here there and here there and there there and there i already have a chain one here we're gonna chain two more and this chain three is going to be the substitute for our first double. Now we're going to yarn over and place our hook right here in this first loop on top of this first row and yarn over again, pull up a loop. And we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now, as the pattern indicates and also the diagram, we have to do four more doubles. Chain one, skip this loop here on top of this next row and into the next one we're going to do a double crochet and double crochet on top of the next four rows as well. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to skip this loop here on top of this row and then we're going to continue here and do double crochet on top of the next five rows. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Chain one and turn. And we're gonna work in this whole stitch here, going through both loops and we're gonna yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on our hook. And that is a single. And we're gonna do single until that chain one space, that is six singles. So one, two, three, four, five, and six chain one, skip this chain one space, and then we're going to do single in the next five stitches. Chain one, again, skip the chain one space, and we're going to do single on top of the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, 
and single on this top chain here of the previous row. And this concludes row two. We're going to chain three. We're going to skip this first stitch because this guy is the same with this one. This one does count as a stitch. And then we're going to work a double in this stitch. The next one right here. And yarn over twice. So we skip the stitch entirely, the single and the double below it. And we're gonna go here, yarn over twice, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is our first front post travel. Now we're going to do a double right behind that. And then we're gonna do another front post treble on top of the same double. So yarn over twice, again, go behind that post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to skip this next stitch. And we're gonna do a double on top of the next stitch. Then we're gonna chain one, skip the chain one space and do a double in the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat this sequence here. So skip this one, both the single and the double down here and then do right on this middle double here, a front post treble crochet, just like we did before. Then we're gonna do the double right there. The second front post treble right here. And then skip this one and double in the next one. Chain one, skip the chain one space, double in the next single. Skip one, we're gonna travel right here from post travel. Double. And again from post travel. Skip one stitch, double into the next, and double into the last. And this concludes row three. Now we're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to do single in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chain one, skip the chain one space. And again, one, two, three, four, five. Chain one, skip the chain one space. And one, two, three, four, five and single on top chain here of the chain three of the previous row. And this concludes row four. And from now on, you're just going to be repeating row three and four for your desired length. So let's repeat rows three and four one more time together in silence.
I'm currently working on writing the pattern for this short sleeves cardi ages 0 to 8, which will be available on my Etsy store, and doing a tutorial about these cute puff stitch flower granny squares, which of course I'll be uploading here. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so we can keep in touch. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Any interaction makes me so happy and helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Bye.